Uh, hey Buckley, hey Tarsus, I am so sorry, thanks for letting me know. <laughs> this is why it pays to have a chat. I've been talking for the last, uh, probably now, what, five minutes to no avail. So, <laughs> let's start again. I was talking about mods and mod, lo mod load orders. Um, I, oh, I, I don't even know what to say. Um, yeah, there's a whole five minutes of just music just ignore it um let me try and recap what i was saying quickly we have assertive combat systems we have assertive bunkers we have a new waypoint grids will die because we had spare voxels and we summoned clang to get rid of them or we, we tried to and then we figured out we could make clang not be clangy if we just summoned him in the ground so now we have a monument to clang right here in our base and we had to get rid of those voxels and i'll just go and show it um we dropped a warhead because like those voxels were just not and, and they were like here they were right in the air and, and they, they were tiny tiny and ship killers and like okay ships and grits will probably still die when they drive through this so i left the waypoint but yeah a, a, a warhead done this it was my first explosion and i should have probably recorded that but we, we will play with those things soonish um the other thing i did <clears throat> we had sort of um i have a mine here like an actual where i said gold mine no so um i've went digging Quite a lot because we needed a lot of iron so i'm gonna show it doesn't look like much but yeah there's a lot of iron has disappeared from here um oh i went up the wrong it's up here um and now we can show off the base if i can find it i think it's there no it is not just here there we go ah. But I'm telling you guys, the life of a streamer isn't always easy, but it's worthwhile. But yeah, so build and repair has been busy. Um, we've also, I've gone and extended this a little bit, you know, our entry gate for the rover. I've double doored that, you know, these hangar doors, I love them. Um, you can see, obviously, that there is a counter now for rover repairs, because I flipped the darn thing a few times. Uh, I have died once on purpose. I tried to kill myself on those voxels that I was talking about them over there. Um, took me three tries. <laughs> that was interesting. Uh, I've also added some, just a little switch for you know inside lighting, and I've added more lighting sort of around the base, warmed it up a little bit, just tinting it slightly yellow. You know, um, I've gone and finished sort of these bits off, and you know I know I realize it's all not pretty and all that but it does it does the job um and i am hoping that a cert will just sort of appear right now i'm imagine nope if i checked factions well that's space pirates and then there's a whole bunch of factions that's not been discovered yet i imagine i, I don't know how that works but we'll need to see i may need to change something in my save game i don't know um, anyways, I, I mean, we, we've seen on the last stream that we've got actual, um, def defense for our base, right? We, we have three Gatling guns sort of searching and we have got the big boy here, the assault cannon turret, you know, looking out for us. So, and we've got searchlights searching this guy. So this is all good. Um, this grid is going to be for now i'm gonna put on hold um and here's my reasoning i have been doing so much running forth and back between those mines um just to feed this monstrosity i sort of feel like building a mining ship yes but small just because of amount resource of, of resources needed like this is such a hungry grid to to try and build up. I 
I'm not entirely sure. I'm, I'm sort of because this is by no means it's done right, and we're still lacking resources. I think, or are we completely done? No, actually, we think we're completely done. Like there's everything is sort of built up that needs to build up. So what is the resource situation? Let's look into that. We have. 1,500 steel plate. Now, I know for a fact that's not going to be enough to build anything on this large grid. So I can take it somewhere. Like, ugh. And then there's the whole solar mess at the moment that... Yeah, I, I don't want to even deal with right now. Um, there's a whole episode going to come up. Of, um, and we're going to learn scripting. I'm going to teach these guys all scripting a little bit. Um, but that's definitely not for now. But we need resources, and I think if we've done something some, <clears throat> something small grid, at least get started today, um, then that would definitely be something that could help us in the future. Um, like I would like to have this a little bit more built out because I've tumbled the rover a few times down here. So maybe let's start there, because I'm going to take the rover out a few times more. There's no denying that. Oh. Um, do like so, and then I think build and repair is still active and should just do its thing, so that's fine. And I'm going to just try and build this out a little bit more so we have maneuvering space. That's really all I'm looking for. Um, I realize this is sort of an ugly construction, but I was really struggling to get a block in here and I didn't want to change the voxels. So I've decided to have a separation sort of layer here. And what I might do is there's gonna be another roof then and then we're gonna have a door right here. Sort of letting us into the machine hall if that makes sense. Um, and then I would have another one of those constructions, you know, these, these hangar bay doors. Um, sort of here. You know that you actually have a sort of bay to just drive into, but if we want to dock in, we can just open that one and um, do all that good stuff. Now, there's a lot of plants. Also, I would like to address something. Yeah, I know a bit of Tarsus, the base does look great. It's it's really came together quite nicely, um, even though I haven't put much shaping effort in, I know that. But, as I said last, and last night on Discord, um, it's mine, you know, and I've built it with my own <laughs> little welder. Well, with the help of stream, I can't forget that. Um, but you know, it, it's, and I'm proud of it. I like it. Um, so I would like to address something that Taurus has said in the last stream, which is we could be using sensors for this gate. Now I need to go and try and understand those. So let's try and do that. Um, Oh my goodness, my bars are still loading up. That was a little bit weird. Um, so let's go and add a sensor and like to my thinking, obviously we're gonna have then blocks coming out here as well. But so to my thinking, where would it be? Uh, it, it, we're gonna need blocks. Yeah, don't deny that. Now, I think I'm gonna have to manipulate voxels to get here. Like, I... Oh, I'll take it. I'll take it, I'll take it. Because this should be fully attached from what I understand. Ah, come on. Me, maybe... No, down there somewhere. Uh, on the floor inside of the hangar door where you park your over. Okay, that's where we're going to place it. Um, but I would still... You know, because I want to make this a sort of garage entry, if you will. Or a garage, you know, whichever part of the world you're from. Um, 
And hey, don't ask me, I'm from Germany. <laughs> oh, did I damage that? No, I think it's good. Yeah, I really don't like touching vox voxels if I don't have to, but this was sort of necessary, I think. Um, come on, let me go there. I was standing in the way there. And then probably have a little ramp coming up to it. So we're not bumping right into these blocks. But you know, this 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 is sort of thing. Um, and then we're going to put apparently the sensor. Let's, let's go and start and look at that block. Um, and I would like it um, based like so. Oh, I need... Okay. That's a me thing. Oh, detector components. Uh, that's fine. I'm sure we can make those. Okay, yeah, you're doing the thing. Um, do we have them on order? No, we do not. Okay, um... Just run on behind them. Yeah, let, let, let me just go and play with the Tarsus. Um, I need to put them into production. I'm gonna just tell Built and Repair to please do not. And I'm hoping that was enough. Unless it's built up already. No, 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 it's still there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's something that's sort of like built and repair. Where you, you want to show area so you can actually visualize what you're dealing with. Um, we'll get to that in a second. So what is going on? Oh, well, guess what? <laughs> Go on, Tarsus. I know you like to see it. Someone please explain why we're not moving. Hand breaks off. Did I? Let me just double check. Oh, this all looks good. Uh, programmable block, please. Can we um, recompile? Why? Thank you. Right. Ah, that's better. That's better. Um. Yes, of course, Tars. It's iron. It's always iron. When is it never iron? When is it not? <laughs> uh, but again, you know, it sort of proves exactly my point that I was making at the with my plan for today. We, we need something that we can just go out and not do the hand drilling. Um, and yeah, I, I, I feel I'm, I'm sick of holding that drill. <clears throat> I mean, certainly yeah, I could upgrade it if I found the materials, but nah, no, Let, let's build a little, to begin with, ship just to feed the base. Um, because ultimately that that large grid thing is it's still fully valid for it for the purpose I wanted for. Right? Make no mistake, I wanted to be a base builder. I wanted to set down anywhere, drill into the ground, build the starts of a base and, and just get going from there. So I'm trying to visualize where I am. No, that's the wrong button, that's not the one. Um and so I should probably mention that I only have about two hours today, unfortunately. <clears throat> because I have another recording to do. And so I would like to help out. It's for my wife, but um, we're doing it basically on my machine. Because that's where we've done the previous episodes for it. And so we're going to go and try and finish that episode of today. 
And yeah. But let me go and do the the dwarf dance, if you will, or the mining dance, and just get in here. Get in and out the hole, as usual. <coughs> Now get your mind out of the gutters, like just... No, I'm just saying it right now. Not that one. I keep doing this, it's really my... My sense of orientation is absolutely shocking this morning. Um... No, it's not you. It's this guy. the chat window is not in the way where it is there um, but I felt like I, I didn't want to keep reading out the messages directly <laughs> it sort of seems condescending too you know like um, and so I thought if I do this for the VODs then people can still watch them afterwards and follow the action as it happened I think that's just fair I can remember where in relation to my rover I've had a hole and it's a bit easier. Like so. And more. Ah, that's perfect. Thank you, Buckley. Thanks for letting me know. But, you know, as we said last night on Discord, guys, this is really about building the community, and I think it needs to be all inclusive enough so that even people watching it not on the stream platform as such, um, that they can still follow the action, because I think it's only fair. And it sort of saves me having to read it all out. Um, but just for the viewers that may be not active in chat, you know, if it's something that you want, if you want me to read out the chat messages, still because you're maybe struggling with reading, and there's nothing wrong with this, let me just make that perfectly clear, then hey, let me know. I'm more than happy to do so. I do it on my No Man's Sky series. I read out everything that happens in terms of storyline. So, you know, I have no compunction doing it. But it's, yeah, it's a sort of two-edged sword, I would say. But yeah, never mind me, I'm just on my run while I'm mining. <laughs> when you don't have to concentrate, you can afford to just run and rave. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I think we've through to the hilt. Uh, handbrake. Uh, see if we can keep the counters not increased this time. It's just if, if I can keep the clone and rover counters and the same number than it was in the the beginning of the stream and I'm already happy. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm hoping everyone's had a good week so far. Looking forward to the weekend now that's finally upon us. Let's try and slow down a little bit. 
But yeah, I like this a lot more already. It feels I have a bit more space. Right when I do the turn here. Because I, I literally dumped it right down this. <laughs> <laughs> this sort of little block of row, um, row of blocks. I, I can English, sometimes even Scottish. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. I, I keep forgetting about the handbrake for some reason. I, I try and brake with the reverse or with the forward button in this case, which is really nonsensical see that just works any bother Tarsus um, and so we can just lock in and then I'll pull everything out of that inventory and hopefully repair what I damaged or it's building up the stuff that I've requested it to do it could be either <clears throat> Okay, nice. Can we... Oh, uh, now it's build the thing. Right, okay. I, I'm hoping that I didn't need to build it. Tensors. Set up actions, left extend. So, we want to start... Detect, detect. That's all the detections. I'm not hearing about detections. Um, Sean Hud. I thought that is like... Um, you're going to want to turn on show sensor field in your options for your, oh right in your options for your engineer uh, is this the guy ah okay um again Tarsus comes through it points me already in the right direction Let's rewind for a second. Um, we're, n we're not going to see what the sensor really is looking at or what its fields are. We need to tell our engineer, that the iteration that we're playing, um, to be able to see that. And so what, what we do is we hit K. And like that's how I do it. And just go through info. Show sensor field range. Oh, make sure that is enabled. And then I would imagine should see this like what am I missing um, the block is on that's the extends and they're like five meters each way so that's like uh, two blocks two blocks each way and I would want it to detect No, no. Friendlies, maybe, yes. If, if I was doing multiplayer, for sure. Um, owner, yes. And then I would say it'd be... Small ship. It's a, it's a small grid that we're fitting in here. There's no way I'm fitting a large grid in this. So I'm not even going to kid myself there. But... Is this maybe it? Ah, oh, right. You step back a bit. There, there it is. It, it's, it's right there. There is a, there's a bounding box you can't see. So let's all let's let's help ourselves a little bit. There's a thing we can do. Um, we can jump into our seat in the base, right? And then with Alt we can move the mouse, and I'm gonna try and bring it close as. As close as I can, anyways. And now we can see that bounding box. Okay. Um, then what we probably want to do, um, and this is the extends for the build repair, that's why they're on that quick bar, but we can do another one. Um, see this sensor, right? Yeah, de decrease, increase, left, extend, and then we're doing the oh, decrease the right extend and de increase the right extend. Just zap a hotbar basically. 
right and then again decrease bottom increase bottom um, what's the next one is the top extent so we'll decrease it and then we'll increase it and there's only one more so we're gonna need another one that was the top extent and the decrease the back extent and increase it um increase front no no decrease front that was right uh and then increase front and that is basically all we're gonna need on that right because now we can do thing where we can change these extents right I, I would want it to be yeah sort of like that and in that direction and I'm just gonna play with it until I feel like yeah that seems nice and then what's this five and six yeah definitely want it sort of in this direction yeah quite far actually sort of like that um and I don't hmm. this is gonna be difficult I think to let's try that may just be too much but we'll see we, we can do it manually as well right um and then next hot bar I think this is the bottom extent I, I i don't think we're gonna see that right which is fine because we don't really want it underground and then yeah i would want it like so say okay and then we're gonna need to tell it what to do right now that we know we have a bounding box and you can you can see the inside of it actually well to some degree like and I'm going to remind you guys I'm, I'm half colorblind so you know some of these are quite difficult for me so I have to sometimes cheat a bit and um, actually is this a thing give me two things uh... oh I can see that better and I can follow that line even so there's a thing I can do for short periods um, you have a sort of color filter, but I'm not going to inflict that on use all the time. Don't worry. Um, but so the only action really, right? But we're going to tell it obviously to do something now that it's detecting the thing that we wanted to detect. And was it the top extent that's 2.6? I, I feel like I want to make it maybe two. Welcome back, Tarsus. She is still the rover, still there. Like, a... let me try and play with this a little bit more. <coughs> try maybe one point five. No, I want the rover address to be yeah, that's still detected. I would say. I. We could treat. We could. We could. We could, we could, we could try it. Um, and also, I don't want it to detect players. Uh, it's. It's. I'm after the grids that I wanted to detect. I wanted to open only when there is a vehicle going through it. Yeah, that that makes sense to me. And then any small grid vehicle that is either myself or someone that I consider friendly would then be able to trigger the action. Um, let's just set this to a meter, okay? And then say setup actions. Um, no, this one we know. It's a group that we've already set up. It's a group of hangar doors that we're going to just say. Do I need two actions? No, I just need the one action, I'm sure. And just say hey open close or we'll just switch state. Okay. See what happens. 
Okay, nothing changed, which is fine. And ideally, the test is actually the other way around. So, uh, okay, this this is something else bugging my happiness, but I will fix it very soon. Um, let's try out what happens if I unlock and move forward a bit. It's, it's stuff like this that makes me happy. Uh, what, what do you mean top up in front? Um, not entirely sure. But so the intention is that if I go and leave... Is it? I don't see it doing the thing. missing here I think so um, let's go and remove this all right on first detection and then when move it when nothing is detected anymore right that's what we're gonna do right so there's a group here of hangar doors that we're gonna say on detection open and then when nothing is detected anymore, we'll close it. I said close. Why do you say open? I said close. I'm hoping that the different icon means it's doing the thing. But now you've not done the thing because... Gonna try it again. Well, okay, let me because now I'm a little bit confused because I thought I had it working ish already. I thought it's like a detection zone, like a like a whole area that you just sort of are in and as long as that is true. It would just open up for me. And then I'm gonna give it time to actually do the thing. And then we're gonna drive away. Yes. Like I've already raised it out completely out of the bottom that this whole area, so it's literally just the bounding box that we see. right <clears throat> once that is fully retracted I should be able to just pull in here carefully and as long as I come up all the way to the connector that gate's closing that's exactly what I want to I mean I can still do the manual trigger but I don't want to trigger it when I walk through it. Yeah, no, this is working the way I was hoping it would. Um, now, Taurus is the way I've done it. I don't know if you were there when I did do it. Uh, I basically just set up quick bars for all the different uh, extents and just played around with them until I could see, okay, this is sort of the size and box I want. So that, that sort of worked for me. So. But no, this is good. Um, I think we're going to need more resources. What does the steel plate situation say? The steel plate says more iron. You know, yeah, it takes a, couple, uh, a few seconds to sort of do the opening. But if you actually think about like an industrial, 
we can approach heavy doors like this with a vehicle, yeah. The door is not expected to be open, you normally have to go and wait. Because there's a reason why those doors are normally closed, you know. So I, I like this whole feel of it, if that makes sense. And, uh, I mean, this is something I mentioned on the Discord uh, stream last night. It's, it's For me, the build isn't so much about prettiness, uh, it just needs to feel good. Like I need to look at it and say, like, yeah. It'll do me, and, and I'm, I'm happy with it, and I'm happy enough that it represents me. <laughs> There's a few signals I'm not seeing, I think. So, ah, uh, okay, but that's too busy. So we'll leave it like so. Don't, 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 don't roll the robot. Don't, not. Is literally this guy. Did I really misspell that that badly? It's not just me that's noticed that, right? So apparently, this is an iron cobalt gold mine. That will not do. Uh, is that all I need to do? Yeah. Good. I'm hoping, anyways. Yes. Hello, unknown signal. Oh, it's just one of you. I am <coughs> fairly surprised that I have seen nothing yet. No, sir. No. Am I just going to assume and hope that that is a good sign? I am just going to go with that. I'm not even going to worry too much about it. Um, and maybe the world will take a minute to actually go and spawn them. And in the very worst case scenario, if I need a new save game, what I will probably do is blueprint everything that's been built so far, make a new world, land somewhere, and spawn the stuff in that we have so far. Um, Ah, uh, yeah, you have to actually travel a bit. Yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. Um, binding sensors and timers. Uh, Tarsus, can we t take this one step at a time? I'm happy I have a sensor, and it's doing something that I wanted to do. <laughs> but no, no, absolutely. We're, we're going to do more advanced stuff when, when I sort of come across something where I'm like, ooh, um, I would like this somehow realized. How do we do that? No, I, I didn't want to do this. I, I am... I'm slightly all over the place, but never mind me. Where's... I think, Buckley, the, the thing really that I'm a, a little bit confused about is when, when I was looking at other series, there is a lot of sort of overhead traffic that goes on around their bases, and that's why I'm a little bit confused, because we're not... Well, I suppose we're near spawn, but that shouldn't really matter. It's not like it's a the location as such. It's not like so in Minecraft. There's this this, this concept of claimed chunks um, that essentially, when they're claimed to you, you, you can't get creeper damage things like that. But it's not really a, a thing that exists in space engineers, unless you're talking about these bubbles that obviously make a safe zone. But our base is not in one, so you know there, there should be no reason for nothing to spawn around us. And I'm not sure whether it's maybe to do with the fact that I've not enabled the wolves and uh, see other mobs, like spiders. I think. Oh, I like that a little bit more. See, already the AQD uh, mod came through for me. I love it. Hey ma, look, new jetpack. <laughs> uh, so. Uh, 
Inventory full. Yeah, see, I, I think I've read something about that actually, Buckley, you're right. It's it's a thing to do with what they consider a threat level. Um, and I haven't really done anything. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So uh, all the traveling I've done so far doesn't count uh, from what Buckley is saying. And, you know, and I think it all sort of counts into... Also, what you've done to the environment, how many voxels you've done, and the threat level sort of increases over time. But we may have bought ourselves maybe an episode's worth of breathing space. Call it that. Which it, I'm actually not going to complain about because it gives us maybe time to get this part done. Um, and then I may go over the weekend and do a bit more mining just to get the resources together. <clears throat> for whatever ship we're gonna build. Because, you know, at the end of the day, <clears throat> end of the day make no mistake, build repair, building repair is gonna do the heavy ones. We're just gonna lay out blocks and just let it do its thing. Just out of curiosity, <clears throat> do we, did we pick up any stone? No. That's a good sign. Let's go back him. Uh, just a bit there. Our Tarsus, I think it's just the Friday jibs, it's just, oh, it's Friday, get get out buffets, I just want the weekend now. <laughs> I think that's all this is. <laughs> that's why we're both all over the place. It's all good, man, it's all good. It joys of life, man. <clears throat> I know we haven't done a single bit of laying anything out for a mining ship yet. I, I, I realize. I realize. And yes, there could be a temptation or a point to be made, you know, oh, why don't you just go on spawn some blueprint and <laughs> with a projector but you've got a ship. No, no, no. I really want to go and build everything sort of from scratch for a start. Just so I know where I've marked up and what's sort of important when you consider things like aerodynamics. Well, not so much aerodynamics, but you know, weights and things like that. And so much more, so much more space. I ah, love it. And we should be able to. I'm, I'm loving all of this, honestly. This is. This is another thing in space engineers when, when when a build comes together it's just so satisfying you see parts moving and you're like yes i've built that thing look at this i'm coming out and boom uh, but now we can go and because we're not going to go and deal with much more senses right now i'm quite happy with the one um but yeah, you know, this this is awesome. Um, shall we lay out blocks? I mean, the refineries and, and assemblers are just going to do their thing, and you know what? Can we just, for now, because I've decided to change it to a small grid for that, combat phase is now active. Okay. Just go and tell the assemblers to just ignore the rest of the jobs. Like, why are you still making steel plate? I've just told you 5,000 is enough. Well, 
Okay, we'll, we'll let the inventory management catch itself. Um, oh, Charles is here like that every day of the week. Ah, that's not much different from me then, to be honest. <laughs> um, the one thing I would like to do quickly shouldn't be an issue. Uh, G Pro Ram Block. Yes, please give me the items for this. Oh, we're still dealing. Oh, no, we're not. Get, get that tip. And I. Oh yeah, okay. Maybe, but then it's a little bit in the way of chat. Well, we'll see. I'll, I'll try it this way. Um, oh, I've not got a block down there, but we just was that going, going to work? Like, can I? Apparently I have to. Okay, we're gonna have it sideways. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Um, but so what was after? Block three. Wait. Where did I put it? I swear, <laughs> my, my, my brain's like a sieve today. Inventory manager event. Um, yep. You, you are going to be PB Wars. Edit browse scripts. I, ha I have a thing for that. Is it simple doors? Because it's not an airlock. I think simple doors will do. Closes doors on your grid automatically and also manages simple airlocks for you. Uh, airlocks are found automatically based on the distance of two doors. When you open the first door of your airlock, the script will auto close it for you. Open the other door so that only minimal. Okay. It will not manage press pressurization. It's a simple door. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Fair enough. But it'll do us. Um, oh, uh, do we want this? Like, I feel no, because we've got this whole sensor thing, right? I, th I feel like that is a thing that we need to consider. Um, Right, okay, that's another way of doing it. But no, I think I can just say ignore hangar doors on this grid. And since there is no airlock, we can just literally save ourselves all that work that the programmer block would be doing and say no. Um, and then the rest is the actual script. And this is just normal C sharp code, really. Uh, yeah, making a list of doors, getting a list of doors, yeah, 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 all that usual. Um, there we go. I, I, I heard it work already. So I could do this and... Thank you. Maybe a second is enough. I don't know. Well, we'll try it with a second. I just don't want to feel like Star Trek Dora is going to chop me in half if, I, if I'm not quick enough. Uh, that actually seems fine, but it's no. It 
just does it. There's no detection of player or anything. No, that's fine. But no, this is cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, shall we go and build a start? Yeah, I think we should. I, I did promise it after that. So, oh, wait, wait, steel paint. Please tell me, just please. Yes, and also we can put all that away for now. Just give me more steel plate. Not quite sure if I want to attach it to the grid right now. There is a. I left a hole. Please don't. Um, so I'm arguing with myself if it would pay dividends to plan for the connector straight away because we're gonna need it. Oh, I did turn that off. That's, that's not good. So this is all, all kind of bits. I don't really want, you know anything over this area like I feel we've already took quite a bit of that circle away I mean it'd be simple enough to plot another line somewhere it's not Quickly have a look at something. I'm curious if I have a line here. Ah, it's up to there, so I need to come underneath. But that is it. So no, let's try. Hmm. Wait, I've got this guy. Right. Like, I mean, I could, let me, uh, are we really doing this? Thank you. Let me just do it this way. Um, so this is already, it could be a pipe junction. This is, that, that is good news, actually. It's really good news because I can just attach to the end, other end of that. Right, I can literally just come through here and then we're just going to go and I think chop this guy. I think it's this. So. Oh, there I am. So I was off by one block. But. Yeah, we could pull this through. Like, get grid, please don't follow me. Pull right through the wall. Um, so, yeah, I know I'm not exactly building the ship yet, but I feel like if I plan this straight up from the start correctly, so we have a landing spot. Maybe come out this way. Is that the better choice here? And that way I'm not sort of trying to squish myself between our monument clang and the large grid monstrosity. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Can we just. I suppose we'll just come out here. Right, boom. Build up the rest of this again. No, I know we have the steel plate for that because we've literally just sort of put our way. Um, that will have been enough, I think. I'll fix that soon, just put a block in there, I'll do me. Then. Yeah, come out here, 
and build a little like, something something platform something something just for the miner you know the admiral miner uh, but what i would like to do instead of those uh no curved no it's wrong block i'm looking at sorry um not curved just conveyor tubes i, I hate these this seems about right, correct? And T is still turned off. Remember, we were talking about the auto rotate. Come out a bit like so, maybe. Um, I, I don't really know how big that ship's gonna get. That's my problem. But I feel like there should be plenty. If anything. We want to do something along the lines of. Let me see. Uh, where's the car one? That's the one that attaches. No, that's not correct. Like so? Yeah. And then I can bring it up, out this way. So, I feel like that should be enough space if I now bring it up. Um, make sure it's actually attached the right way. Uh, like so. Uh, yeah, rather in towards towards the base with the work part. Right, there we go. Um, and then literally just... Uh, although, wait, I, I, I like to do a thing with all my landing platforms. I'm looking for the thing, but ah, I've seen it there. Uh, we're going to use a one by one just or do we want to? Uh, sorry. Just, just do that, right? Um, and then put a connector on top. Oh, I need to wait until that's built. Right, put it back. Uh, I think, like so. Uh, turn us. Yeah. Right. Um. I like, I like. And we're gonna have a just another extra row of blocks, sort of as a walkway, if you will. Um, then I would like. Did we not have that some way? Yes, we did. And yeah, that guy. See, like so. Um, and you can tell I like this particular button. Uh, layout very much. Here. Really? I'm sure they're coming soon. Um, and then basically the big button is... Now. Stop. Naming. I keep doing this to myself all the time. So let's, let's try and fix this right now. This is not just connector. Right, we're gonna name this... Um, yeah, I think I'll do it like so, right? Just as a as a suffix for what that specific connector is responsible for. Um, ow. That was a little bit stupid. We're going to do the same with this guy. We're going to name him 
that's not just one by one piston we'll call this um docking port uh, uh mining dock mining dock lift right and yeah please share the inertia tensor super important sure i'll find it this looks wrong like everything about this looks entirely wrong is that just me what's gonna happen if we all right no okay okay it's it's settled but that's fine Uh, set it to 0.5 I normally like that as a speed and then last but not least this connector gets named um, just simple as that uh, and I would like you to be connector minor right you're going to be a switch lock then we have a that's that docking lift when i push that button i want it to extend right and then when i push the bottom button i want to retract right so that when when the ship's stuck basically and, and we can switch lock from here if we wanted to but we can sort of lift the ship up to its launch level i would call it And yeah, look at that. You know, that's, I feel that it's, high, it's nice and high enough for me to have a mining ship come down on, make sure it's it's landing gears are retracted, things like that. You know, and then when we're not using it anymore, make sure it's locked in and then bring it down and off we go. And I think we want a door. I, I don't know. What do we feel like? Do we want a door there somewhere? I, I, I can't decide. I feel like I want to. Because it's like a different... It's a different part of the base, really. Like, I mean, it's... Um, maybe do something like so and try and see what happens when it is away and this. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I like it. I like it. It's a sort of door stair. No, no real need for it. Uh, let's see. Let me just try and see what we can come up with there. Because there's different kinds of doors as well. Right. So what's this? Uh, a half sliding hatch door. A sliding hatch door. That, that could be something. Oh, what? Holy moly, that's a big block. Um, that's the that's an offset door apparently. How is it offset? I don't. That's the normal. What did we use there? So maybe, yeah. Yeah, I like this. Let, let's try that one. Actually. Oh. Gonna have to fix that ramp. Um, see here? That's all like that. Yeah, of course I do. Uh, I'm sure building repair will fix it for me. second yeah that's fine um but yeah now we've got access you know to our 
docking port, if you will, here for, for, for the miner. For the miner. Now let's start building it. <clears throat> now, yeah, I'm gonna try and do a thing here where leave me to it for a second. Uh, have, I have a sort of idea of what I want to do to build the base for this miner, right? Um, I want you to just know. Oh yeah, this this works now that I figured out that Xmos button control is the culprit. I don't even really care about alignment realistically, but let's see, like so. Well, that was completely misaimed. <laughs> uh, come on, it's only three dimensions. It's not that difficult. But that's fine, I can go and grab I like it locked in so I can actually interact with it. Yeah, I just seen this in the the, the, the flaw in my design. I, I I did see it. Cause I will miss that jump every single time. Why are we not Why are you not placing? Why are you not local grid line? Like, seriously, why is it not snapping? Not a gravity line. So. Did I break my game? Line to voxel or existing station, yeah. Aim at station to update local grid alignment, no. I do. Okay. Um, meaning what? I'm, I'm sure it's. Oh, B. Yeah, no, that's what I've been trying to do. It's. Are you. Yes, finally. It seems awfully close for me to be like. Oh, wait, it's this thing. So, okay, the control mouse wheel thing is, it's just for those that maybe are not aware, it, it sort of matters how far away you point it. If it's fairly close, like what I've had here, I think this is how I could place it there. Whereas if I go and now move that focal point further away, I can go and actually aim it there. That is what was happening. It was entirely me, of course. We know this by now. <laughs> There's nothing new there. Um, and I was getting construction components. Is what, is what I was doing. If I put them in the build planner. Who knows? <laughs> uh, no, no, it's not there. Not yet. There we go. And then, literally just... Right, a few of these guys, um, yeah, small block, um, look at it like a shoe, Sebastian, it's not that difficult, so that's the front. So we're going up to the front, one, two, three, four, six, same to the back. Um, so what did I say? Six along to the front and back, and one, two, three, six, seven, eight. Now oh, that's going to be too big. Because, like so, we're, gonna, we're doing the same here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's sort of. Oh, well, that's fine, actually. Yeah, that's sort of the, the basic 
shape of it. Then filling out obviously the frame just now. Um, batteries. Um, Oh, ah. Hit the mic there. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so, batteries, but I, I would want to plan for my landing gear shenanigans straight away. Um, I feel like. So, you, you're going to go for a second. Just get. I want to see this unadulterated. Uh, yeah, I feel like if I come up here and along. And then. Ding, ding, ding. That's sort of the base for the pistons to attach to. Right. Nope. Try that again. One, two, and out. And that is long here. Right. Like so. The idea would be, um, because it's small grid, piston, uh, yeah, just give me normal piston in this case, right, and we're going to, yeah, attach it just thusly. Yeah, that should be fine, because this is not the final base, this is just the start of the landing gear. And if I do it right, it's gonna be exactly like the rover and like the large grid. It's going to disappear. Hello. Oh, hello, friendly voice. I like you a lot more than the standard voice. That's why I'm listening to you. Uh, can we just do it here? Can I just sit my tired bones down? Cool, and then let's go and grab a few hydrogen bottles. In fact, let's refill all of the empties, please. One, two, three. There should be. Yeah, I was going to say there should be more bottles, thank you. Confusingmyself.com um, But yeah, so this is basically the, the, the initial label there, and then this is a small grid, please, thank you. Oh, okay, cool, cool. But there's a few things that I'm going to have to get built. Before we can actuate any of this and attach landing gears and that, but I may as well. Now, for me to find a block. It's a quick bar mess. I love it. Batteries. Uh... Hmm. Same cost as large batteries, from what I can see. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a couple, well, two couples actually, of small batteries just to get the grid powered, as it were, and then use quite as well. Because we're now entering a phase where, yeah, it's, it's going to be more warfare than anything. Um, battery, 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 battery. And again, I'm trying to sort of balance weight as well. You know, yeah, as much as I'm trying to obviously have the piston sort of nice and aligned, but at the same time we want weights evenly distributed if we can. Just to make the flying easier for ourselves. <clears throat> oh, okay, well, that's, that's fine though, I can deal with that. Just, there's a few blocks I haven't seen yet, um, so you'll see me, or you'll hear me going, whoa, that's... That's a block and a half. Tower says, did you, did you have to go and do it? Did you really go and have to do that right now? I'm, I'm sure you're absolutely right. 
Oh, we, we, we could be in a not too bad position, but I'm sure you're right anyways. It's always iron. I've got the EK of iron. <laughs> um, but if I remember correctly, build and repair is at the moment just set to walk anyways. Oh no, fly mode's on. Hmm. Are we too far away from the... We, we, we probably are. Like from the sphere of influence of... Well, okay. Okay. This is going to be a bit of a janky build because what I will do is just get it flying barely, get it onto the, the connector. Bob's our uncle. Try. We could try seeing if build and repair will let us extend that far. It's a thing that can be tried. Not that I can see where it is, but it's it's thereabouts, and I don't know, we need lights. Ah, okay. Um, for this, I would like I don't know what kind of lights would I like on the outside of my base. What do we have? No. Uh, I don't want all light out rocks, I just want lights like um is it under LED? No L C D possibly. No, they're just like actually L C Ds. Uh, is it decorative possibly? No. No that 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 was a DLC actually. I keep forgetting. Uh, It's not a production block, surely no. Uh, it's not under power. That's no, just frostbite stuff. Uh, I really need to learn my block um, hierarchy a lot better. This is quite embarrassing, to be honest. Is it? It's not a window block. I wouldn't have thought. That's way of warfare, not interested. Uh, Sparks of the Future has another DLC. Right, okay. One more check is interior. interior? See, there's interior lights. But what do they fall under? That's what I don't get. Okay, we're gonna just. Ignore that for now. And we're gonna go and bring a bit of light in, into the situation here. Uh, really right there would probably do. Because of the whole it's the light levels on that. I'll do the same, say there. Well, I was looking for different lights in these. But whenever I type in just light, it's it's showing me all light armor blocks, all light armor blocks. I'm like, no, not what I'm looking for. No way. Um, just basically trying to get a bit of lighting into the situation more so, so I can build better um, there as well. Control panels. Uh, okay. Show me all in. in Excuse me. Right. Okay. Go and give me that name, please, because I don't like that shenanigan. So. That's a new name, replace it thusly. And it's 209 now we've done, okay. Yeah, 209. Um, so 
traffic lights also includes these, please. Right. Oh. Inside lights. Push the wrong button. Save. Set them all to. All oh, right, just at the bottom of the list. Okay, uh, I'll know for next time. Oh, radius. Yeah, we're gonna need something more shiny. I can't see anything I'm building on here. So, no, that will not do. Let's try this again. So, Buckley says, type in light and just add the. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, uh, offset spotlights. So, they're all under spotlight. Fair enough. I want something fairly powerful to get over there, so we'll go place it, say, here-ish. Search light. Is that a light panel? I want no. corner lights. No. May just be a spotlight. Okay, we'll try that. Yep. Put one of them right there. Yeah, I'm sure I will bring everything just in a sec. Now I'm hoping. Is there, a, there it is. Okay, so what do we have? We have. Go with this to 209. Because that's sort of the color that I quite like. Radius. Good enough. I'll, I'll take it. Oh, got to have that. Build and repair. Please help me out with building that little apple thing. You can barely see it, but we can at least interact with. I think I'm an idiot. It may just be close enough, and I have turned off all the time. Yay! That would make sense. See? Okay, so what else are we going to need on this? We obviously want the connector somewhere in the middle. So let's go and do a bit of scaffolding here. So I know I'm not going to lose my whole grid when I chop things. Alright, that seems fine. Now we know this is the middle block. So I'm gonna cut up, come up one, bring it out. There. Right. I'll do it just now, uh, just so I know what I'm doing, and then I can attach the rest of the bit back to those blocks if I needed to. Um, Next thing we're going to need is something to sit in and fly this monstrosity. And I do like me my different cockpit blocks. What do we have this time? Um, um, I suppose we're going with the industrial again. Remember, this is a little bit funky in terms of connecting it, but this may just do, and I should have access to the ports at the back.
sort of getting stuff put together, trying to see where things are going to be placed, you know, trying to visualize um, connections. And I think actually I think that, that I'll be that one. I know I've just dropped one somewhere. Uh, I'm sure built and repair will pick up. That's what I could have done. Is I could have just pulled. Yeah. Um, and as I say, Tarsus, and I've said this before. Like for me, a lot of this is going to me um, experimentation. I, I want to see how things feel if I if I do it wrong, sort of thing. So, realistically, I only need small conveyors to pass the ores through. We're not going to need the large conveyor ports, because we're not going to build any materials on this guy. This guy is literally just... <laughs> Yeah, exactly, Buckley. That's what I mean. I'd rather figure it out myself, and then you can laugh at me afterwards. And maybe, if you're luck, if if you're feeling so inclined, point me in the right direction. <laughs> uh, let me go and find conveyor smalls. Um, like I'm sure I had added them somewhere, but it could just be my imagination. Medium cargo containers, normal. Yeah, it could just be my imagination. It's all good. Um, what on earth did... Oh, fuck. Oh, this is fine-ish. Oh yeah, Buckley, I will. If, if I've got questions, of course, I will ask, but... So, yeah, there's an interesting thing that's just happened. Build and repair done its job, but the block that I had underneath here is unpowered. So it was an unpowered grid, it was, you know... Listen, the small batteries right now is just so I can get this thing lifted up onto its uh, piston feet. That is literally just all I want, was wanting to do with that. Um, but I've sort of shot myself already in the foot because um, I realistically should have had this on a piston. So I'm going to have to do old grind redo. And rebuild it all. But this is how you learn. And for me, the, sort of the, the, the small batteries, I would call them my, my last resort backup. You know, it's not something that will ever get used afterwards. It's just there for ballast a little bit. And yeah, as I say, get the grid powered up enough so I can lift the pistons. And then the rest of the grid is going to be built in large, uh, in bigger batteries. Sure. It's the same with the small cargo conveyors, uh, cargo containers. I'm not going to bother with it. They're just utterly useless.
start again. That's just what it is. Um, and I feel actually inclined to just do this quickly, just to pull it all. I'll do me. Um, and if I can just um, up, up, up. Thank you. Um, do this again. this. Just place it there. Thank you. I'll even build it up for you. See? Don't have to worry about it. Build and repair. It's all good. Um, now, piston. Piston first. Piston, 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 piston. Um, no. There is no small block for that. So we're going to have to make do with the normal piston for that. Um, it should just go there should be absolutely fine and then my actual blocks go on here right so what did we see six i think it was one two three four five six in each direction five, six yeah I, I i seen the unknown signal but it's nothing we have to worry about thank goodness So I'm, 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 that's why I'm not even <laughs> commenting on it. <laughs> uh, right, it's again. Um, actually, ignore the batteries for now. Let's go and build the platform that I would like. Um, yeah, exactly. Bring it out that way. In the middle, two up, one out. Same there, one out. Seems fine to me. <coughs> Pardon me. Oh, excuse me, I should say. Um, and then that doesn't seem right. Yeah, like so. Boom. Boom. Just touch them right there. Right, and then hopefully, I've done this right, I can now. attached. I mean build just I just need the plane. I mean yeah I can, I can just we have it. What? boxes can be so frustrating in this game. I'll build up fantastic. Now I can hopefully do this right. That's a small grid I would like to. Yes. I, I, I can never quite get it right, but I think that looks right to me. Right. So we want them at the back. One, two, do the same for that, please. Okay, 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 I, I like this so far. Then we're going to need, obviously, to power this now. And, um, I'm gonna say, um, these are not the actual batteries that will run the thing. They just here, they power our immediate efforts here. Um, 
uh, in, in general, Buckley is absolutely right. By the way, I mean, there's no point bothering with the small batteries. They rarely hold enough charge to be even worthwhile spending the space on. Um, because by the time you actually get any amount of out of them that, has, that can run a ship, you're using the same amount of space in a big battery. So you might as well just go with that. Oh, wrong quick bar this time. And then tell me what we're missing and I shall go on. Can we retrieve from here? Yes, we can. That is wonderful. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Energy low and it's not a problem. Um, I'm gonna sit down a second. <coughs> Oh, I've done it again, have not. Thank you, Tarsus. Uh, yeah. Let's go and address that right now. I have a bit of energy and it'll do me just now. Well, it's my health, I've not full of that. Eh, who cares? Again, yeah. Off with its feet. Try this again. I'm not on the battery. On the hand. And all we need to do is like so. I don't know why I find it so difficult to conceptualize these. Or you know, like have them aligned right. It just just something that really poses difficulty for me. But that should be it now. Worry, build and repair, I've got the things for you. Okay, you've done the thing. Fine, fine. Um, now let's look at the ports here. Oh, nice. I've, I've left this free, hopefully, the correct way. Um, I would say that one's probably... Uh, might get away with it, but I would probably rather chop off... Okay. going to be let's try it. Uh, this uh, I'm gonna start here I'll probably go terribly terribly wrong well actually not as terrible as I thought no this is fine okay cool group um yeah, you really. Please, all of you, just please, please be landing gears right now. Um, this is landing gear feet. There we go. Please do not auto lock. Okay. Then we have pistons here. That we're just going to actually call a landing gear. Save. And we're going to make sure they share the inertia tensors. Um, then on the very end back there, landing gear feet, we're going to say switch lock and reverse on that piston. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I know we were a bit, we're a bit off kilter here, but we should be fine. Apparently something clanged. Like it, yeah, 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 it was a bastion, that's an idiot. Um, I have to pull those in. So, yeah, I forgot, you know, the 
this guy. I think I've just... Oh. Yeah, no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine-ish. I think I'm just going to... I'm sure you're fine, I'm sure you're fine, I'm sure you're fine. Settle, you'll be fine, I promise. There we go. That was a little bit scary. Scary than I would have liked it to be, but yeah, it's fine. And now I can do the thing, I think. Is it? Yes. Ooh, okay. We have an outline and we have each. Um, being extended, nice. Uh, bring it back down, just okay, so I can place these blocks a bit better with it fully uh, retracted. So let's see, we're gonna want to block off quite a lot of this. Yeah, that's fine. Um, want to be underneath as well, so. Like so, well, just to start off with. Um, then one more. That's fine. I, I can sort of start visualizing that already, that's fine. Okay, you, you come up. Nice. And then, just for shits and giggles, we're going to lock you in. Alright, and then just placing of the blocks. Um, This should be fine. I can just come along here. Close this off like so. Um, then I should be able to fill this space just like so. Okay. And then we're just going to go and extend this out on this end. Just bring it along. Make sure we have space for the feet, but they're, they're fairly small on the small grid, so we only need one block extra to the front, like from what I can see. It's only this block that we need to keep clear, and then I can just go and close that off like so. Is it? Or do we need three blocks? <clears throat> I'm going to just make sure I've not taken that. I'm going to leave that clear. Right. Um, so it could well be that it's a three long or, you know, whichever way you want to look at it, the structure. And just bring it along. Yeah, let it connect right there to the grid. That's all fine. Ding, 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 ding. Drop a few blocks in the environment, you know, as one does. Yeah. Right. I need to just see how it closes in, but it should be fine. Should be able to unlock and bring it down and have a look at it. No. Oh, actually, no. It's fine. I'm not. I'm not far enough down yet. But that's fine because then I can say, okay, we want to close that space, obviously. I don't want like open holes pointing at where the landing gear is. So just like so. Nice and closed. I like sort of hidden solutions, you know, things that disappear neatly, that fold away neatly, and things like that. Um, but yeah, that, that, that's coming along quite nicely. I, I like it already. Uh, back up. And then I can literally just go and say, well, we need a bit more here. 
and it is indeed a three wide space that you need to leave free for the landing gear to completely retract it. I think this is just empty holes. So I'll close that off. Yes, no. Like so. That's what I've done wrong there. Yeah, that's a three in it. like so and I really like this design and like uh, I've tried it on like, one of my worlds when I was you know before I started streaming this and I was like oh, how can I make it disappear because for me the idea is that when I have a bunch of mine mining drills going off in the front I don't want things sticking out from the profile of the ship and it was like, well, landing here is sort of one of the biggest ones, and so, like, let's let's try and hide it. Let's let's try and do a thing. And so that's how this whole thing was born. Where I'm like, no, I'm hiding my feet. You make sure I'm leaving enough space for those feet to retract into, otherwise things will go terribly wrong. that space so that can be filled out. It looks like it's three white still, that's fine. Okay, and then just bring it to the front. Yeah, I was right. I'm gonna have to do the same thing here where that is a space that needs to be free so I'm gonna have to extend the well that can be filled but we need to extend the front of the ship a little bit you know just by like one layer it's the space where the disappear into like so. I'm going to leave the middle free. I'm hoping I can then make the connector, uh, connect the pin, things like that. Um, now did I? Yeah, that was three. I should be sure, so I've done that. Okay. I just need to fill out those empty spaces in here. And for now. And so a lot of this stuff might get chopped away again. Really good due to the reason I want it just fleshed out so I can visualize not, not what the whole design is gonna look like before I commit all my resources into the actual machinery. Um, yeah. Yeah, that, that, so there's this whole thing Buckley's just mentioned, right? Um, you need to be absolutely aware of how much weight you're adding to your ship because more weight means more thrust, means more batteries, means, you know, it's 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 sort of like the rocket equation. Uh, equation. Um, the more weight you're trying to launch into space, the more fuel you have to provide for that process. But that fuel itself weighs something, it's, it's a sort of runaway. Um, so obviously I can't just go absolutely hog wild. Um, but I'm thinking if I put four big admirals on here, probably job to lift us. I, I, I don't know about the rest yet. But I'll just see. <laughs> like so, is that sound to go? Close it off like that. That seems nice. I like that. Um, well, that can get closed off, so can this. Yeah, like so. I think that should do. And then just filling up that last layer. I 
as I say, it's more to get a good idea of what it's going to look like with the feet first and foremost to start with, and then I can fit other things quite easily in here. There should be more than enough space in this footprint. seems fine. It's it's a too high space that we're going to need, if I remember correctly. That looks nice, and that looks clear as well. So, are we ready to try this out? Are we going to? Yes. Well, and it looks fine to me. Like, it's completely settled. None of the feet are sticking out. Um, bring it back up. I'm gonna lock it into place now. Uh, so again, we need to think about the blocks that we can build out and the ones that we can't. There, which is fine. already. I even really started to build the ship yet. <laughs> Great fun. So, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, no, this, this block should be fine. I don't see why not. Okay, fill it out. For now. I want to look at it like from a distance in a semi 
built upstate so I can judge it, you know, like, is it going to be well watched? at all the different wireframes you're like, have I got that block, have I not? There we go, I think that should be all of them. Um, that block... Yeah, I'm gonna say it should be fine. Let's see. Oh yeah, Taras is absolutely going to need more Taras to counteract all the weight. That is essentially how that works. Um, listen guys, I am... Um, unfortunately, we are at wrapping up point. Right? Um, I feel like we've actually made a bit more progress. May not look like it, but yeah, we've done a bit more mining. <laughs> um, the base feels a little bit more homey now, you know, I have, you know, entrances, we, we have uh, some automation going on with our rover, you know, our doors are doing things that are quite nice, you know, to close by themselves, we can get rid of this, by the way, this can all go, because this was literally just there to give me a space to build from and have it powered, and it's built and repair with wouldn't drop the platform under me. But yeah, as, as I was saying, I feel we've made a bit of progress today. Um, look forward to Monday's stream. Gonna be much more of this. Uh, I will try and work over the weekend on a design on a, on a different world, so I'll speak. Um, oh. You know, just to try and what I will probably do is just blueprint this guy and just take him with me and just try and work on him a bit. Um, yeah, I think that's going to be it for today. Um, a big grey block. But that, that's how I build it apparently. But you know, I like the fact that it does this thing quite nicely and yeah, nothing is clanked here all nicely retracted so yeah it's it's beautiful i love it no you're more than welcome buckley I, I love hanging out on stream with you guys in general and even the ones that are just lurking you are all appreciate it um but this is what i'm all about in this chat in this stream it's it's meant to be a chill experience it's no stress here we're just all like-minded people trying to do a thing, <laughs> right? Um, as I say, for next time we're gonna have either I'm gonna have a blueprint ready, or at least I will have an idea of what I'm gonna chop where, where I'm gonna lay piping or, or tubing or whatever. I know, I know, Tarsus. The counters didn't go go up. That is actually so amazing. I'm so happy with that. <laughs> um, we didn't roll over the rover. We didn't die. And we've built a little thing, right? But yeah, I will try and spend some thought on where piping is going to have to go, uh, where I want my drills, you know, things like that. Until then, thanks for watching. Peace out. And please leave a like and subscribe if you like the content. It's always greatly appreciated. And it helps the YouTube algorithm also, you know, give you the right content and tell me about the people that are watching my content and all that good stuff stuff. Yeah, let's go and save the world and say goodbye and have a good weekend. Peace out.